What's up YouTube, Jay Traveling here. Uh, today I wanted to give you guys a follow up on the 1070 I had mining. Uh, I had it mining pretty stably for about two and a half days almost at uh, the overclocks that I had, but then I ran into an illegal memory access error code. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing with it. Uh, it's the MSI Gaming X uh, GTX 1070. Uh, it's still on the test bench, it's still mining, but I had to tweak it a little bit this morning and uh, I'll show you guys where I left off to try and keep it as stable as I possibly can. So let's go ahead into the computer. Uh, it's just gonna be a short video today, but we'll go into the computer, show you the changes I made and where it's sitting right now. So here's some of the changes that I made. Uh, I'm at 100 and 100. Uh, we'll go up to 125 on the core, see if we can speed it up a little bit. I, I do get slightly better hash rates with core on these cards. Uh, this doesn't look like it really changed much as far as mega hash. So we'll drop it down to 100. But earlier today, I can't show because I exited the miner, but I did get an illegal memory access error code. So it was mining for about 60 hours at plus 175 and plus 150 on the core. And I was getting just under 29 mega hash a second. Uh, and I had a good amount of accepted shares I had about 14 rejected shares uh, or 16 maybe and then that's when I noticed I had the illegal memory access error code I logged into the rig I saw that I had the error code and I had just gotten it uh, I don't know if me logging into the rig caused it but I did get it so I lowered it slightly so I'm just 100 and 100 uh, getting roughly 27.7 mega hash a second at 130 I'm still hovering around that 130 to 135 watt range. Um, not as good as I was hoping, but still from what I've read on forums, people are still roughly getting 28 mega hash a second with these cars. So I'm not far off of what is being reported at this time. Uh, and we can still look at some profitability of it. So if we go to what to mine here and we look at it's, uh, Ethereum trading at 1772. We have 11070. And I'm not using theirs, but I'm getting, if we look at our miner here, 27.7. So I'll just say 27 mega hash a second. And it's saying 135. So if we add, add it, so we're at roughly 180 system wattage so I'm, I'm adding the motherboards idle and everything to it so we'll calculate this so i'm still getting mining ethereum three dollars and 27 cents a day and i'm still profitable by uh two dollars and 62 cents a day uh now eventually this graphics card is going to go into my girlfriend's computer so she can do some light video editing uh but for now it's just going to be mining until i'm ready to put it in but it's still still a little profitable so you see, I mean, I was obviously hoping to get, you know, like that 30 mega hash a second out of this card, but we're sitting just under 28 mega hash a second. Uh, these overclock settings should be pretty stable for now. Uh, you know, if, if it crashes, I have to lower it. I'll make a updated video, but I feel like these overclocks for this car is pretty much where I'm going to be sitting. Uh, you know, the power consumption isn't where I'd like it, but if I did drop it more, I would end up losing uh, some mega hash a second. I could fine tune it and find that area where, you know, it's most profitable as far as efficiency. But right now I'm just going for what I can mine uh, pretty much at the 28 to 29 mega hash a second. Uh, power consumption is really not a concern to me right now because I'm not going to leave it running for an extended period of time. It's only going to be running for like about a week or so before I install it in her computer. Uh, but, you know, I just want to give you guys a follow up video of how the 1070 is doing. Um, you know, thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.